the government will feel the public pressure to do something about it. And one of the obvious options is to impose a price ceiling on the product. But this price ceiling comes at a cost, as we'll see in this demand and supply analysis. Suppose the supply of petrol decreases due to production problems or a war in the Middle East. This can be represented by a leftward shift of the supply curve, and the price of petrol might rise from 7 to 10 rand per litre. If the government reacts and imposes a price ceiling to keep the price at, say, 8 rand per litre, a shortage develops in the market. Suppliers produce less, demotivated by this lower selling price, while the quantity supplied no longer matches the quantity demanded. At 8 rand, consumers now demand a quantity of Q2, but suppliers are only willing to supply an amount Q1. This creates an excess demand, or shortage of petrol, equal to Q2 minus Q1. Now this is really significant. The market is now unable to fulfil its normal rationing function, where those who can't afford a product don't get it. Other ways now have to be found to decide how this limited quantity supply to Q1 is to be divided among consumers demanding the higher quantity, Q2. The inadequate supply of petrol must now be rationed. Now this can be done by a first-come, first-served basis, so those in front of the line will be able to get hold of petrol, and those at the back will either have to go without petrol or else look elsewhere for it. Queues form, time's wasted, and some people end up without getting the quantity of petrol they want or no petrol at all. Hmm? Some informal rationing system might develop whereby suppliers limit the quantity sold to each consumer or by selling to regular consumers only. So, make sure you have a friend in the petrol business. Now, the government can step in again and issue rationing tickets or coupons. So in order to obtain petrol, you have to have both money and a rationing card, and an incentive for corruption is created. So make sure you have a friend in the government business. From experience, we've learned that a price ceiling imposed on a market where producers have legitimate reasons for raising prices will result in some or all of these problems, which eventually outweigh the benefits of keeping the price down.